Hello, this is Bob Schroyer, and I'm about to uh, demonstrate our new uh, any tip bracket, which can be used with our anything but lazy Kate, to hold uh, country spinner bobbins, which are really large bobbins. To open up the lid of the anything but lazy Kate, you simply loosen the knob, tilt the lid up, and retighten the knob over here. And I'm going to pull out the tube that contains the normal rods. These are going to be 12, or excuse me, 11 and a quarter inch uh, rods. Uh, they can be purchased along with the Anything But Lazy Kate, but they can also be purchased as part of the Country Spinner option. Our Anything But Lazy Kate can handle really large bobbins, there's no doubt about it. But, of course, the Country Spinner bobbins, which are probably the largest bobbins ever made for a uh, spinning wheel, uh, are just too big. I mean, they, our unit will hold those bobbins, and I'm sorry I don't have one here to demonstrate, but we don't actually own a country spinner unit. Even though I think we own every spinning wheel known to man, or at least I accuse Nancy of, of owning every one. So I can't demonstrate the bobbin actually being on the unit at this time. However, we have provided two of our customers who own anything but Lazy Kate's this kit. With the exception of this bracket, this bracket is brand new that I'm going to demonstrate in a moment. Uh, this is an anti-tip bracket. But we have uh, provided these tubes to two customers and they tested their uh, country spinner bobbins on the unit. So, And they reported that they work fine. The only thing that uh, was happening was that if you tilted the, the unit back the whole way, of course, you probably would never do that with such heavy bobbins because I would put too much... Uh, too much tension on the yarn. But when they did that, it tipped over. So then we set out to design a uh, any tip bracket, which is what I've got here in my hand, and I'm going to mount that. So basically you take the knob off of the uh, bolt, and you reattach the knob. This uh, bracket, by the way, fits inside the case when you're all done. So now with that installed, you can't see it here, and I'll load it up with a, a test weight so you can see how it does. But you, you can't tip it over as a result of that. So I'm going to demonstrate some weight that I'll add to that to show you how much weight it can actually hold. So you lower the lid, the country spinner option can only hold two bobbins since they're so large. And you would then put these stainless steel rods, which measure about 12, 12 and a half inches, uh, they slip right over the standard rods. And the reason we put those on is that the country spinner uh, bobbins require a three-quarter inch, uh, excuse me, not three-quarter inch, three-eighths of an inch uh, diameter um, rod system. So this accommodates the country spinner bobbins uh, very well because we've increased the, uh, you know, the diameter from the typical three-sixteenths inch rods that we use to three-eighths of an inch. What I'm going to use for a test weight are pieces of wood that I have and these are, these are really heavy. This particular uh, part of our uh, SWIFT system is uh, solid maple. Well, it's not solid, but it's, uh, it's three-quarter inch solid uh, maple that's put together into a uh, tube, as you can see. This particular part weighs, let me see, four pounds, eight ounces. So I'm going to lay it across there. Each one of these parts weighs about a pound. This is all maple wood. So I've, right now I've got about, oh, six and a half pounds on there. I'm going to tilt this back. And you can see there's no problem. Seven pounds, seven and a half pounds, eight and a half pounds, nine and a half pounds. I can go one more, and it's going to start to go at that point. But what you would do in a case like that, you just lower the angle. And, and quite frankly, that angle right there, from what I'm told with those heavy bobbins, 
uh, would add enough tension anyway. Because remember, you're pulling the yarn off the bobbin as you're tilting it back with the Lazy Kate system. But right now that's got four one pounders and a four pound eight ounces, so it's almost uh, nine pounds. Ten pounds there, and it's holding up. Now at some point, I have another um, position on this arm that I can move it back to. Um, we're in the process of modifying that exact location. But at this particular point, I've got basically 10 pounds on there, and it's not tipping over even though it's on an angle. So I think the, um, the anti-tip bracket is going to work just fine. The um, anti-tip bracket is provided with a uh, special foot on it. As you can see there, it's got a protective vinyl foot so that it uh, won't mar your furniture. You simply remove the bracket, put the knob back on. Put the, uh, the bracket inside the box. Along with your stainless steel tubes. Of course you'd have your other components here as well. Namely the uh, post to go on to the ABLK. So the Country Spinner uh, kit will be available uh, in uh, May of 2013 and you can get it with the uh, 11 inch rods um, that would extend the size that you might have gotten with your standard eight and a quarter inch rods when you bought your ABLK.